Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. Probably most of you are still, still asleep. I'm just trying to keep to a schedule, so I'm still working on Saturday. I hope you're all doing well. It seems like most of you are getting into the swing of things. Again, we're all adjusting, so if there's a problem in the, or an issue, please just reach out. We will work it out. Um, these are just some strange times, and that's just how we are all going to deal with this. So as we begin Chapter 11, this is called Dusk, which is symbolic. The next chapter, Chapter 12, is called Darkness. So Dickens is using that metaphor in order for us to, as readers, understand that some things are about to happen, you know, nightfall. Um, so when we begin chapter 11, we're at the, at the end of the trial where Darnay is um, going to be sent back to the conciergerie to be beheaded. So the focus on this chapter is Lucy at the beginning, and she wants to, of course, embrace her husband one last time before he may be um, beheaded. And we have um, Sidney Carton there. Um, and we have to remember in the last couple chapters with the hand at cards and the game made, Sidney Carton has made some blackmail requests of John Barsad. And so Barsad is you know, working in the prison. So Barsad allows Charles Darnay and Lucy to embrace one last time. So we get to see at least some good come from Barsad, but basically under duress because he's being blackmailed. But, you know, all for the good of Lucy. So the second thing I want you to pay attention to, and this is on page 333. We have Charles Darnay talking to Dr. Minette, basically thanking Dr. Minette for everything he's done for the family, um, even before Charles was born. You know, going back to the story um, with the Evermont brothers and... Um, you know, Dr. Minette trying to save the brother and the sister after being raped and, and stabbed by the Evermont brothers. So Darnay is thanking Dr. Minette, basically saying, you know, these are the sins of my father. And that's the phrase I want you to understand, the sins of my father. No matter how far removed I am, how many years ago these sins happened in the name of my family, Charles Darnay is being punished for those sins, even though he did nothing to um that warranted any of these arrests but just because he's an evermon because of his family name so that sins of our father if you can remember to greek mythology i mean this is a common motif among the world and as well as in literature movies music all of that um moving on to page 334 we have little lucy this is at pretty much the top of the page um it's the phrase that begins with oh carton carton dear carton cried little lucy springing up and throwing her arms passionately around him, meaning Sidney Carton, in a burst of grief. Now that you have come, I think you will do something to help Mama, something to save Papa. So even little Lucy, you know, has all this faith in Sidney Carton, which is something we have not had in the whole book, but she sees something in him, something to save Lucy or to, to help Lucy and to save Papa. So keep that line in the back of your mind as you continue on with the rest of the book. Um, moving on again, um, when Sidney Carton um, kisses Lucy, his famous last words to her were, a life you love. And it's just such a nice sentiment. One reason is that it's not about Sidney Carton being with Lucy. It's because he just loves her. He wants her to be happy. And so he's kissing her for a life you love. And then we have Lori and Sidney Carton um, having a discussion on page 335. Basically, there is no hope. They both respond, there is no hope. But Carton walks away with a quote-unquote settled step. So he's walking away from this very hopeless situation, but he has a little confidence in his walk. So pay attention to that. And one last thing I want to... Um, point out to you way back when we were doing the skits for Lucy's Hand in Marriage um, in the chapter called A Fellow of No Delicacy. So back on page 153, Sidney Carton said, and this is the very top of the page at the end of um, chapter 13, it basically, um, it was Sidney Carton saying, um, oh, Miss Minette, 
when the little picture of a happy father's face looks up in yours, when you see your own bright beauty springing up anew at your feet, think now and then, think now and then that there is a man who would give his life to keep a life you love beside you. So that was spoken over almost 200 pages ago. And let's keep that line um, in the back of your head. So we get to see that this is going to become Sidney Carton's time to do some good and to bring some meaning to his life. And then recall also the lines in the last couple chapters where he's saying, I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. You know, who, who believes in me shall be saved. I'm paraphrasing there. So just think about that and enjoy this. This is wonderful. You've worked hard to get to this point, so just enjoy it. All right, take care of yourselves. I'll be back in just a second with chapter um, 12. <laughs> Bye.